Hi, it's Linda Brown, Independent Epicure Consultant, and I want to welcome you to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make some simple meatballs using Epicure's square steamer. And I've actually got something in this steamer right now. It's chia ketchup. So what I do is I make big batch chia ketchup and I just follow the directions right here on the jar. It calls for one can of diced tomatoes, two tablespoons each of this mix and balsamic vinegar. And I microwave it on high and then I scoop it into my silicon iceberg mold. And it makes perfect half cup servings and I'll be using one of those half cup servings in my meatballs today. So another kitchen hack is I freeze my ground beef or turkey, chicken, whatever it is I'm using to make my meatballs. I freeze it in uh, Ziploc bags, but flat. That way it takes little time to thaw in a sink of cold water. So this took about a half an hour to thaw in cold water. And I should mention that these are going to be gluten-free meatballs. And I make them gluten-free using the Italiano Coat and Cook mix. Now this is full of superfoods. So it's full of polyunsaturated fatty acids. It's a source of dietary fiber. And there's psyllium in there, which makes you feel full longer without having to snack shortly after mealtime. So I'm going to put about three tablespoons of Italiano Coat and Cook in with my ground beef. And then I'll scrape my chia ketchup in there as well. And the reason why I make my own ketchup is because the store-bought brands are full of sugar and sodium. And this way, I get to control what my family is eating. So the best way I find to make meatballs is to get your hands right in there. So I use gloves just to save on a little bit of time. And mix it all up. Now that that's all mixed together, I just form it into balls and I put it right back into my square steamer. Why make another dirty dish if we don't have to? And there should be just enough ground beef to fill the steamer all the way up. Okay, so my steamer is full. Take my gloves off. Put the lid on and I'll stick those in the microwave for about five minutes. We'll see you back here in five. Okay, it's been five minutes, so let's check on our meatballs. Again, I wrap a tea towel around the top of my steamer so that the steam does not burn my hands. Ah, and those are perfect. So what I'm gonna do is break some of these meatballs into four because half of this recipe will be used to make spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight but the other half is being used to make soup for later in the week. And I will show you how we make that soup. So we'll start with Epicure's beef broth. And Epicure's broths contain nutritional yeast, which are high in vitamin B12. They help give your body energy because uh, B12 is good for your nerve and blood cells. So one and a half teaspoons of this mix will give you 
50% of the vitamin B12 that you need in a whole day. So this is a super product. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of beef broth into my mason jar. So next, I take Epicure's basil and tomato nourish dressing and I'm going to put two tablespoons of the nourish dressing into my mason jar. And then we'll take the garlic and onion nutritional yeast sprinkles and add that to the mason jar as well. And one tablespoon of this amazing product gives you 90% of your daily value of vitamin B12. So this again is a super product from Epicure. Okay. Just grab a spoon here. Spoon in my quartered meatballs. And this is going to make kind of like an Italian wedding soup, which is super yummy. Then I add some fresh baby spinach. And some vermicelli noodles. Water is really hot, so we're going to wrap a tea towel around the mason jar and just give it a little bit of a shake. And we have soup that actually will be ready to eat in about five minutes. So that's how I cook once, eat twice. I have meatballs for spaghetti and meatballs tonight, and I have an Italian wedding style soup for later on in the week. Thanks for watching.